Neon Tetris. Neon Tetris are renowned for their vibrant red and streak of blue. These Tetris originated in the South American Amazonian basin. Neon Tetris are smaller in stature and are kept in schooling sizes. Schools of fewer than 15 Neon Tetris can make them feel threatened and stressed. Although they group together, they generally display a peaceful temperament towards other fish and inhabitants in the fish tank. They go nicely with other schooling counterparts such as the Cardinal Tetra or Rummy Nose Tetra. Neon Tetras are omnivores. This means their diet consists of proteins and plant matter. In the wild, Neon Tetras spend their time in the middle column of the water, feeding on worms, insects and crustaceans. They prefer brackish water, water that is a little more on the soft and acidic side. Neon Tetra thrive in habitats where there are lots of fallen leaves, vegetation and tree roots. Within these dark and murky waters, the Neon Tetras are able to develop vivid coloration to help them identify their fellow fish. This popular freshwater fish could be bred in captivity. They are commonly kept by many fish keeping hobbyists. In the wild, Neon Tetras live until they are around 8 years old. However, in aquariums, Neon Tetras generally live for around 5 years. Within the fish keeping hobby, these tropical fish are quite hardy, which is an ideal selection for beginners because they are easy to care with low maintenance cost. In captivity, neons can eat high quality pellets or flake foods that are small enough for them to swallow and ingest. They enjoy being fed the occasional bloodworms or daphnia to sustain their omnivorous diet. Neon tetras require a lower, soft and acidic water. A pH between 6 and 7 is ideal. And warmer temperatures ranging from 72 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit or 22.2 to 24.4 degrees Celsius. The recommended tank size to keep Neon Tetras is at least 10 gallons, 37.9 litres to be exact. This is not taking into account the amount of swim space and setup of the aquascape. A larger volume of water in a fish tank will always allow for the stability of water conditions and parameters. Neon tetra are relatively tiny fish, which can reach a maximum size of 1.5 inches or 3.81 centimeters. But some of them have been known to grow up to 2.5 inches as well. A rough guide to a gallon of water for every inch of fish can be used to help determine how many fish or livestock can go in your fish tank. Neon tetras have a small bioload, meaning they do not create too much waste. Also, proper filtration of the aquarium is still essential for keeping the balance of good bacteria in the water and preventing all outbreaks of disease or changes to the water chemistry. Whilst some aquarists try to advise that your tank should be pristine and have no algae growth at all, this is not natural or healthy. Whilst algae is fine to have in small quantities, it can grow quickly and it is important not to let the algae in your tank take over. 
the best solution to algae problems is to manage your nitrate levels and light exposure to the tank. The most effective way to do this is to maintain good water conditions by regularly changing the tank water, keeping the tank away from direct sunlight, and only lighting your tank around 6 hours per day. Changing 20-25% to of the fresh water on a weekly basis is part of maintaining and sustaining a fish tank with neon tetras. When conducting water changes, it is highly recommended that fish hobbyists use reverse osmosis water rather than water straight from the tap. This is because reverse osmosis water, or RO water, is filtered. This gets rid of water hardness from tap water and the chemicals that are present, such as chlorine, toxins, and 99% of dissolved solids in the water. An alternative to this is by using water conditioner to remove chlorine and detoxify any heavy metals in tap water. Neon tetras are able to adapt to gradual changes to their environment. However, changing larger quantities of water may significantly change the conditions of the remaining water inside the tank. These fish may not be able to adjust to the sudden changes in water condition and may in turn feel severely stressed or even die as a consequence of this drastic change. There are several bottom feeders that can get along well with neon tetras. They will feed on algae and will help reduce some of the algae in your fish tank. Those such as catfish, shrimp or snails can be great algae eaters or bottom feeders in a community tank with neon tetras. They not only assist with cleaning unwanted fish food, but add some variety to your fish tank. I've been fish keeping for five years now, and this hobby is one of the most rewarding, yet challenging hobbies that I've ever experienced. This hobby can be quite rewarding and joyous. I love neon tetras, and neon tetras undoubtedly make ideal pets for most homes.